So I'm now looking at the human remains and I'm thinking, what can your father say? Even though he's dead all these years, what can your father still say okay, about what happened to him on the day that he died? And we did find some injuries on these bones. Trained okay, by Argentinian more, forensic anthropologists, Sherry has become an expert. Okay, what Working on Julius's remains, she found several broken teeth. You know, His ribs also bear the signs of trauma just before death. She also established that both his arms were broken in the same place. Her observations confirm what Julius's young son had witnessed. Moffat was 10 when his father was taken away by soldiers. He would have been dragging on the ground when he walked. Okay, it's Examining the clothes reveals new details. The trousers bear obvious scorch marks. Burning with plastic was a common torture during those years in Zimbabwe. Proof of burning with plastic. These trousers vindicate, okay, what we were told, okay, by, by Moffat, who saw it, okay, that this man was burnt deliberately, okay, in, in the hours of his death, okay, that this is what happened to your father. It, it, it really hurts. It really hurts because... You know, it's like uh, somebody has already killed you. This is also the very first time that they see his death certificate. The official cause of death, headache. In all these years, the mother has not said a word to her family, but she saw it all. And she was herself tortured to the extent that she spent eight months in hospital before she could walk again. It's, 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 it's very difficult, but sometimes people are overwhelmed with fear and then they think the monster is still alive. <laughs> and you can't talk of uh, killing the monster that is uh, in a position to kill you instead, because it's still powerful, it's still there. Why, why, why were they beating him? What, what were they beating him for? I want to know. That's why I say I always want justice on this issue.